I can name a million things I'm not. The only thing I am is real. No smoking on that real kill. Breaking streamers really ruin gaming, or are you just trash? In this video, I'm gonna talk about gaming before streaming was I need popular. To, I need to see the poom poom in 4K, not you from. Oh my god, brother, what the hell? In gaming after streaming became popular, and by the end of this video, you'll have an answer on if streaming really ruined gaming or not. Now, a few months ago, I was actually scrolling through Twitter and I saw this tweet right here that says, "Dominating blue collar workers in Battlebit." If you don't know what Battlebit is, well, it's basically like Battlefield and Roblox, and this is pretty much the whole clip. Chat, should I play Battlebit on stream one time? Probably in the future. Cause I gotta re-download Roblox on the PC. Cause PlayStation's not gonna work. Yeah, pretty much. That guy's just straight up dominating people. Like that. That's pretty much it. And I saw a quote tweet that said, "Esports ruined casual gaming." No, bro, that's just Roblox though, bro. Ain't no damn esports in Roblox. Bro. Let's cut that up, bro. But try harding in Roblox is pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie. The whole title of this video is like something along the lines of how streamers ruined gaming. But I'm gonna put streamers and esports kind of in the same category. I say that because with streaming, you kind of gotta either be good at a game or mm -hmm. funny, and with esports, you gotta be good at a game. So I'm gonna put them both together because th they're pretty. That's similar, pretty much. That's just... that's pretty much what it is, though. That's practically what it is, though. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like for you to be good at a game, you gotta put in hours and hours on end, and no one's just gonna sit on the game hours on hours on end. And not gain anything from it but you you get the point i'm trying to make though like pro players have fans they have fan bases why not just stream to communicate with your fan, your fan base that's extra bread too you say so much that's just my thought to really understand this we got to go all the way back to 2018 the fortnite boom before fortnite was this cringe <laughs> grab that pretty much just preyed on little kids for money it was a game that nobody actually they used to do that it's so it's weird now because fortnite used to be in that little corny it's so crazy how they got out of it like they used to be in this corny little box where they were just only appealing to little kids, but now they like transition it to where like 18 to 25 age range can actually play Fortnite now and actually enjoy it. I'm still on Fortnite to this day. Truly knew how to play and everyone had fun with it. I mean, back in 2018, every single human being was talking about Fortnite. I mean, back then you had Fortnite meme pages. Yeah. Every single human Hell being yeah, was posting their wins. People were doing emotes. Bro, Fortnite's prom will forever be in the gaming hall of fame. Like just that era of life is just untouchable bruh like imagine getting home from school bruh you take off your bags and shit, you know what i'm saying do the homework hop on the game you see the boys in the party they trying they need one more for the four you hop in that squad and it's just a lit night we never get those times again irl fortnite move oh do it again do it again do it again fortnite move <laughs> i mean that's how we got the infamous ninja clip oh uh, i remember this uh this was embarrassing, bro. Ah, man, look at that crowd, too, bro. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> And since Fortnite was so popular, one thing that That's also became popular because of Fortnite was streaming. Back then, Twitch was like pretty niche, but I'd say that Fortnite made Twitch more mainstream. And you may be asking, why did people mm. go to Twitch and not YouTube? Well, the thing about YouTube is that a lot of YouTube videos are edited, and some people, they may be good on YouTube, but it's like on Twitch. Twitch is live, Twitch is raw. So if you lose, like people are gonna see you lose, and if you win, mm. people are gonna see you win. And that's why mm -hmm. Twitch was so popular, because you could see high-level gameplay in real time. To determine if somebody was truly good all I mean, you had to do was just uh, watch them on twitch uh, it, mm, i because mm, there were already big names on twitch but i guess cam is right i guess you can say that because i'm trying to think of anything like any other time that twitch was really popping besides the fortnite era Twitch becoming so popular, some streamers that a bunch of people were watching back then was people like Myth, Ninja, Dr. Lupo, Nick Merckx. The whole Ninja versus Myth argument was like the biggest topic in school. I remember I was back in like freaking 10th grade. No cap, like, no cap. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. For a moment, right? Ah, oh, man, it's weird, bro. Because there was a mo there was a point where Myth was better than Ninja. But then Ninja came back, you know what I'm saying? He swung around. And then it was Ninja versus Tifu. In the Fortnite's prime, I got Tifu over everybody, bro. Tifu was just too. He was filthy, bro. Tifu was too filthy, bro. Like he was disgusting at the camp. Lunch tables talking about if Myth or Ninja was better. I'm not gonna lie, back then I was Team Bruh. Myth. But with all those popular streamers and pro players being in the limelight, that made more people want to be a pro player slash streamer. I mean, did y'all see how some of these Fortnite teams were getting down? Hell yeah, they were getting M's, bro. Nineties to be a freaking Fortnite pro back then. I didn't know about Twitch till Fortnite came. out. Exactly, I didn't know. I I knew about it, but I was never like on Twitch 
per se. You know what I'm saying? I just knew that the platform was there. It just wasn't as popular as it was as it is now, you know? I probably would. And that's exactly where the downfall of gaming happened. Everyone started focusing on the money you could make from gaming rather than the fun from gaming. Fortnite used to be this game where you try to win by doing these creative strats like building a sky base, building a huge metal base, or maybe even camping in a bush. But then it turned into this huge sweat fest when people saw oh my God. Money from this game. Yo. Back then, if you shot at a dude, they would probably start shooting at you back like they wouldn't even build. But now, if you shoot at somebody in Fortnite, they're building a whole freaking skyscraper Bro. hotel with Wi-Fi. It's actually wild. And that is is exactly why i would never build on fortnite i don't care bro i know some dork is gonna be like oh they just get better at the game bro it's not about that bro it's just i'm not trying to put in that much effort into the game oh i'm just not trying to do all that bro if it's not like a game that i'm truly passionate about i'm not gonna put 110 percent into it i'm not i will i will like graciously step back and say that i'm not going to be building a five-star hotel after getting one, a bullet into my ass. i'm not I'm not doing all that, bro. The building now in Fortnite, bro, that's a whole different skill gap, bro. And I can I can graciously accept that I am not touching that skill gap whatsoever, bro. That's too much. Look at Asian Jeff. You seen Asian Jeff? He's crazy, literally. Now, let me say this right now. I do also say that that's kind of just time. Like, with time, people get better. But my point is that everyone's playing games to be the best rather than to just have fun with their boys. Everyone is playing to be watched exactly. on Twitch or watched on YouTube. I mean, you ever play a game and you get killed by somebody with a ttv gamer tag and you go to their twitch and they're not streaming at all they're just sweating just to sweat like everyone is just playing for that top spot because in that top spot you can make content out of it and with that content comes a whole lot of money unless you're playing like farming simulator and you're a pro i don't, I don't really think you make a lot of money from like pro farming simulator how can you be, i don't know i, I you might be become a, a farming simulator pro you never know bars but yeah everyone's pretty much playing to be watched i remember back then games wouldn't really get sweaty until like two or three weeks after release but now games are sweaty off the rip it can be five days away from call of duty coming out and you already got a dude making a video saying best class setup 2023 mw3 and it's like bro the game hasn't even True. released it can be True. two weeks before True. 2k comes out but that's that's just for content grab you know what i'm saying it's the, sometimes the classes be ass those classes be ass, bro. You see this, you see how them people be making the classes in the beta? That's the dumbest shit i've ever seen bro they just trying to get their views up bro why would you try to throw out a class setup video in a beta, bro. They probably gonna change that shit around, bro. That class setup is not gonna stay, bro. So those videos, those class setup videos, when you see like early on, bro, that's just is bullshit, bro. Dude already has the best build. It makes no sense. Same and thing, exactly. Same thing with 2K, bro. Same thing with 2K. Once 2K drops, bro, you you see a video the next day of somebody saying, "Oh, this is the best build. You invest. You should invest all your money into it." Da -da -da -da. If you fail for that trick, you're a dumbass, and I'm one of them. Game comes out, people are only gonna play the meta because when you only play the meta, you can win more. And when you win more, you can get up to that top rank. And when you get up to that top rank, you can stream, create content from it. More people are gonna watch you because you're up high on the leaderboards. And then the cycle yeah. just continues and continues and continues. And now everyone's just playing the same because everyone's just trying to be the best exactly. to be able to stream it slash be watched. Back then, um, you that's would play not games me. For the that's not me, bro. I'm not doing. I wouldn't do that. I I don't do that. Now I've been my own shit. That should be better for them. Nah, that's what that's what I need to start doing, bro. But I don't even think I'm even gonna keep playing 2K anymore, bro. 2K is not that. It's not that good as it used to be anymore, man. It's just not, man. They they're doing too much money grab shit than rather than appeal to the community, bro. No lie. I think it's also the community as well in 2K. The community is just too unsatisfied at certain points. But they do have a point of being unsatisfied because, for example, let's say let's say. 2K brings back the jetpack, right? I mean, you can wear it, whatever with the rule, but you couldn't wear it in games. You can only wear it as like a fashion item. And that was kind of sucky. That was ass. Yeah. But the point that I was trying to make was whenever like 2K brings back like a highly requested item, they'll either put that shit at a very high price or put it in like a battle pass or something just for you to put money into, into them. And that shit's annoying, bro. That shit is ass. Like I said, bro, they're money hungry, bro. Gaming tournaments were giving out speckles. I'm telling you, if you want a gaming tournament for like freaking Mortal Kombat or Halo or something like that, you were probably gonna get 50 cents in a Big Mac. But now, if you <laughs> win a freaking Fortnite tournament or you just win a freaking Call of Duty tournament, dog, you're honestly set. You can buy your mom a freaking mansion. People are getting millions from tournaments. I mean, look at Booga, bro. Didn't he? He won like three million. I'm pretty sure off of Fortnite. That is wild. That is insane money. Another 
thing about Can't gaming after exactly. streaming is exactly. that games that aren't even sweaty are becoming sweaty. For example, Fall Guys. I remember back in 2020, every single human oh being was playing Oh my Ball gosh. Ball and with everybody no playing cap. Ball I was one of them boys up until like 2 a.m. on Fall Guys with the boys trying to get the damn crown. I'm not, I was just thugging to get that damn crown, bro. And I remember scrolling through TikTok one day and I saw this one dude making videos of the best strats on certain maps on Fall Guys. And I just thought to myself, what do you gain from being a sweat in Fall Guys? What do you gain? Nah, like, sweating in Fall Guys is so insane, bro. Stuff, but I feel like the you gotta reason rethink why Fall life Guys at that so point, fun man. was because nobody was making strats or anything. People were just hopping in, having fun, just playing like headless chickens, you know? I feel like <laughs> games die out quicker when you're making all these strats and stuff on how to win. That's when right. It's yes. not even like, obviously, yes, the goal in Fall Guys is to win, but I feel like the whole point of that game is to enjoy the journey. I feel like the exact statement that Cam said plays the same way into Call of Duty, bro. Because whenever I get into Call of Duty now, <sighs> I think it's the skill-based matchmaking that they have now, man. That sucks. But I get it at, a, at, a, at another standpoint. I understand because they're trying to appeal to more audiences so they can make more sales. I get that. But the skill-based matchmaking shit is just, it's just fucking up. Like, just enjoyability of the game, you know? Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to hop into COD and then play one game very good. And then the next game, I get completely stumped on, trampled on, just spat on. I just get dogged. You know what I'm saying? I just get dogged. But back in like Black Ops 2, MW3, MW2, original Black Ops, shit. Even Call of Duty Ghost, they were all just good matchmaking, bro. You will always fuck around and have a good game, maybe a mid game, and maybe a bad game. But that doesn't determine like who do you play against. You know what I mean? It's just annoying. Just focusing on the destination rather than the journey. Imagine coming home from a long day of school or work and you're getting sweated on in Fall Guys. Imagine you're over there just trying to chill, you know, you're on this little cutesy game that's like unpopular pin goes, hell yes, hell yes, Quincy. Call of Duty Ghost is so underrated. It gets so much hate for no reason, bro. Some of the points not even valid. In my opinion, the ghost story is probably the best story COD has ever made. No cap, it's probably one of. It's up there with the Modern Warfare series. Oh my god, I just stuttered a little bit. With the Modern Warfare series, the Black Ops series, freaking golden campaigns, okay? But the Ghost campaign, it should be up there with it. I don't know why they discontinued it, but it was, it's up there with it, man. If they would have finished the story, it's up there. It's just the multiplayer that gets the hate. The perk system didn't really make sense. I didn't really like it that much. Overall gameplay feeling, it was still a good game. And story-wise, it was still a good game. It just needed a few tweaks in there. Every single map. And it's like, dude, you can't even have fun anymore. And since everyone's tryharding, games are now catering to the bad players. One thing that games have been implementing is this thing called skill-based matchmaking. If you don't know what it is, well, I'll basically explain. Think of a lobby where all the top players from a bunch of different yeah, but games the was all get into a lobby true. with each other and go head See, that's what I'm talking about. Ranked play, but with no bonus rewards or anything. I, this is the shit I've been mean, talking about, bro. The best players without getting any specific reward in casual play. And the thing about skill-based matchmaking is that it's unfair because the good players are being punished for being good at the game. And it gets to this point where it's like winning feels like a chore rather than actual fun. Because back then, if you truly wanted to sweat, you would go into like a ranked game mode or something. Thing. Exactly, but now you're gonna, try hard, bro. you're gonna play every single other try hard 24 7 just because you're good at the game oh Back and also then, another unpopular opinion another unpopular opinion cold war was also a good card too games like Call of i don't Duty, think i don't think do, cold war got that much hate though and but it was still a good card lobby, some people said they didn't like it, it and if you wanted to stay after decent, the game though. i like stay it. but now after a game is finished they just transport you to a whole different lobby with everyone else who also did good and it's like now you got to go head to head with all the big dogs just because you literally bro i remember Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War that had some of the worst skill based matchmaking. All right, ever. hold on. That game was hold borderline on. unplayable. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Unplayable is kind of crazy, Cam. But if you would have said Modern Warfare 2, you would have got it. Because Modern Warfare 2 skill based matchmaking was probably the worst experience. I've probably ever sat through with any Call of Duty game. Because if you won one game, you would be playing the freaking optic roster from freaking 2014 and just from the, winning uh, one game. Besides and another way of games catering to bad nice. players, Fortnite adding bots into their games just so you can feel better about yourself. Let's be real, it's <laughs> 2023. Nobody is a default anymore in Fortnite. I mean, back then, yes, there were people who were bad at the game, but nobody no, is no, so no, bad no, that no, they're no, 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 no. Once again, now, once again, Cam, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bounce back again with this statement. I have seen some terrible gameplay throughout my lifetime, I'm not gonna lie. For example, Chris Next Door. Chris Next Door on AMP 
He is by far the worst Fortnite player I've I, I've probably ever like watched. I be I be sitting in the streams. I be there and I be like, man, this dude is garbage, bro. Running into a wall 24/7 in Fortnite. So now it's like there's no middle ground between the good and the bad players. It's like if you're good, you're being punished, and if you're bad, you're being rewarded. And so a master prestige in COD, I didn't tell him to take a shower or go outside. I sent that MF a friend request. And that's facts. Instead of actually putting in the work to be good, a lot of people just sit there and complain and now games are kind of catering to them. But one game that I say that kind of bridged the middle ground between the really good players and the really bad players is Street Fighter 6. One thing that Street Fighter 6 did, they added something called modern controls and classic controls. Mm. Classic controls, basically you have to do more to push out a combo. And if you do that successfully, then that combo does more damage. But if you uh. play modern controls, you only hit square or something and it'll do a full combo and those combos do less damage so it kind of bridges the gap oh, between good wow. and bad players. i think Tekken does the same thing i'm pretty sure Tekken does the same thing but i don't i don't i don't do that uh, y'all y'all be seeing me cook up bro y'all see that y'all see that i had somebody comment somebody commented when i hit my ult on king somebody said oh that took no skill you wouldn't do that in an actual real situation Woo -woo -woo -woo. I promise to God, I looked at my phone and I just turned the button, I just closed it because I do not give a fuck. I don't care, bro. It's literally implemented into the game. How are you going to say it takes no skill for me to use something that's implemented into the game? The skill is literally used to end games or to bail you out. And what I, I was about to get killed. So what I did, I bailed myself. If I ever get a chance to ever meet the Tekken fan base in person and they start coming at me and calling me trash, I'm going to hit them with the reality. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, Charles. That's the big problem. Like like what Cam is saying in the video, that's the big problem with game, bro. Everybody wants to be too focused on being the top, the, the biggest nigga. I don't care about being the top dude. I'm okay with being with where I'm at. I'm okay with that. I'm secure with that. There was nothing wrong with those lobbies back then. It's just like games just wanted to cater to the bad players, you know? So it's honestly just like gaming is just honestly a that huge is true, though. Fest. And that rounds that back true. to like the ultimate question of this video. Did streamers really ruin gaming? No. I no. Well, I mean, I feel like time just evolved. You know what I'm saying? Like just gaming just evolved in general. For example, with Fortnite, bro. If I was to put Ninja against Clicks, Clicks is going to dominate this nigga any day. At all times, bro. He's clicks is gonna wash that nigga ninja. You know what I'm saying? That's just because Fortnite evolved over time. Back then, when Fortnite first dropped, we're not out here cranking 90s like that. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't cranking 90s hard like how it is now. But in the same time, it kind of plays hand in hand with the developers and and views too and content creation as well. But yeah, like I said though, it does play hand in hand with the developers though because. Like I said earlier in the video, the whole point of dropping the game is to gain sales, bro. Like, they're literally like built, making a race who's gonna get the biggest sales. That's really it. Like, how can we make the most sales out of this game? That's, that's exactly how developers think when they drop a game. How can we make the most money out of this game? Shoot. 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 Shoot.